client started with a percentage, but he is really worried about me having a good process to track all the leads I send them, proving to be time consuming suggestions. Yeah, so anytime you're gonna do a percentage deal from a lead gen standpoint, it can be time consuming to track this process. Uh, especially if you're like listening to the calls or however you're, however you're specifically tracking. You know, the one thing that I can tell you from percentage deals that I've done in the past is, I think it really comes down to the business partner that you choose. No matter what it is, what partnership you're in, okay, you gotta have trust, right? Doesn't matter if you're married, um, if, if, if it's like a best friend, uh, if it's a business partner, doesn't matter. Trust is the key ingredient to this game. Now, that can be hard when you're coming to someone brand new and you don't know them, so you, it's kind of like that dating process. And so what I would, what I would suggest Zach is I would let him, him track it. I would let him be honest with you. I would let him come back to you with, with what he has or has not closed from the business that you've been giving him. One of two things is going to happen. One, he's going to screw you and you're going to know really quickly, like, wow, I've been sending you a lot of calls and you can audit the calls if you want so, so you can check up on things. Or two, he's going to realize that he's got the golden goose. And this golden goose keeps shooting out freaking golden eggs and he doesn't want to lose you. So he's going to try to be as honest as possible and he's going to try to pay you um, as much as possible because a guy like you or a gal like someone else in this group probably doesn't come along that often where they're basically like, hey, no risk. You just pay me when you close, right? It's like having a salesperson working off straight commission. So in those cases, you'll see those people and they'll start bringing you the money and they'll call you up. I closed another one. I closed another one. Those are the partners that you ultimately want because they're going to be honest with you for all the partnership partnerships deals I've done over the, over my time. I usually track it for the first month and then I let honesty play out and I'm sure I've been screwed on deals. I'm sure there's deals that I missed that they closed that they, they maybe even forgot about, but I let the chips fall where they may and I spend my time on other things instead of consuming my time with just that. And so that, that would be my advice.